Welcome to DVCom Technology. In this lab, I'm going to show it to you how to use Dretec Router app to configure Vigor 2927. So in my lab, I have a brand new router, which is Vigor 2927. Let's go and see here. I have installed my mobile application and through my mobile application, I'm trying to connect now. Let's go and have a look, guys. So right now, I'm trying to connect now again so that you can able to see it here. It's a brand new, yeah? So let's click on this and go to screen mirror, click on this. So I'm going to connect it now. Yes, it's connected. Now let's go and see here, I'm going to connect it now. So first thing is that you need to open the Dretec router application. So once you open this Dretec router application, then click on get started. Then after that, it's a brand new router. Then click on the new router. Then if you see here, you need to follow these instructions. So click on next. Then after that, make sure your phone is connected on the same network as your Dretec router. So as I already told you guys, I have connected with the default SSID, which is uh, Dretec 5G. Now click on next. Then after that, you just click on next. Now you can see here, it's trying to find out the device. Once it's find it out, then it's going to identify it. So it's successfully find it out. Then after that, say next. There you go. Then after that, you see here, WAN 1, I'm going to use it for Ethernet. Then what's your time zone? So the time zone I belongs to Dubai. So let's go and select here. You can find it here, Abu Dhabi. Let's go and find it now. Abu Dhabi Muscat. Then after that, if you want to sync the NTP server from the pool.ntp.org, you can just select it. Then click Next. It's checking the internet connection. There you go. I have a successful confirmation. Now after that, click on Next. So in case if you want to change the, your WAN settings, you can able to change it as well. So right now in my network, the DHCP is running. So through my DHCP, I got this IP address. So I consider this is my public IP. So in case if you want to change here, you can select it here according to your requirement. You can see here, either you can select the DHCP or PPPoE. Make sure that if you are getting the username and password from your service provider, you can select the PPPoE. Then let's say if you have a static IP, you just select the static IP. So right now I selected as a DHCP, then click next. Then you can say here, configure online WAN, yes. It's updating settings. Then after that, what's your Wi-Fi name and password? So I'm going to give you here, dvcom iPhone test. Then what's the password that I'm going to give you? So I'm going to give you here, there is a secret password, guys. You cannot able to see that. Then after that, do you want to enable and configured second Wi-Fi? No. Then after that, you can click Next. Then what's your admin password? Do you want to change it? If you want to change, yes, I want to change my admin password. Confirm the password. Then after that, you can just click Next. Then after that, it's asking you, what's your profile name? Select a name for your Dretec products. So I'm going to select, let's say this is my custom profile. I'm going to say DVCom Office. Say confirm. Then click next. Now you can see here, you are able to give you the summarized information. So this is what SSID I configured so far. And I changed my default admin password. Then after that, click finish. Now you must reboot the router to apply above settings. Say reboot. So it's rebooting guys. You can able to see here. So all these tasks that I'm doing, I'm, uh, that I'm performing through my Dretec router applications. That's the beauty of that. So in, ca in case if you have a brand new router, you just go and directly connect with the existing SSID. Then after that, you can do all these tasks. So it's very easy for you guys. So thanks to the Dretec that how they made our life more easy.
So now it's come back now. Make sure the router LED is blinking after rebooting. Yes, I can see that. Still the router is rebooting, guys. I can able to see it. Unfortunately, you guys are not able to see that. Yes, it's coming now. So just wait for a few seconds. It's going to come back. Yeah. Yes, it's coming now. So now I'm trying to connect it. So let's go and connect in your mobile phone with the same network which I configured there. So I'm going to connecting now. So I can see the SSID which is showing DVCOM test. So I'm going to connect it there in my mobile phone. Yes, I have connected successfully. So my PC is as actually my intermediate device, guys. So my PC also I'm going to connect into the same network. So let's click on that. So it's already is directly connected with my wide connection. So you nothing to worry, guys. Now I just reopen that application again to show it to you what exactly it's done. Okay. Now let's do the screen mirroring again. Yes, you can see now it's just it's connected now thanks to the Dretech guys. Just stay with me because the problem is that the screen mirroring is taking a bit time. Yeah, now you can connect it successfully thanks to the Dretech guys. See here, now click on enter profile. And you can able to see current connection is good. Let's go and have a look. Now you can see the beautiful status. Right now it's showing that there is a 2.4 and 5 gigahertz. I can see the van one is connected. Unfortunately, my van connection is 100 Mbps speed. That's why it's showing as an orange color. Then after that, if you see in the network, you can able to see what's the van connectivity, how many van connections you are connected. Just is loading the page and you can see the van one is connected and it got the public IP. Yeah, it's not a public IP exactly. It's a private IP. So which is got it from my local network. So this is I consider as my internet connection. Yeah. And if you want to see here, there is active van and there's a LAN as well. And is there any VPNs that I configured so far? Nothing. So there is no VPNs at the moment. Just see guys, it's trying to get all the information. So in case if you want to configure it, you can configure it as well. So that's a beauty of that guys. Yeah. Thanks to Traytech really. Then go to the users and you can able to see how many devices are the known devices, how many devices are the unknown devices. You can able to see that as well. Let's go and click on that. So now you can able to see here. These are the unknown devices. So there is a 1.10 which is my iPhone and there is a desktop which you are seeing already my screen that is two computers are connected in the same network. So now I just make it as a known in case if I want to specify the name I can specify it as well. So I just say here say shoe iPhone. Yeah. So click on OK. Then after that, the desktop, I just click on here. I just want to say known device. I can say, say shoe Windows PC. Yeah, say okay. Everything you can do it through your mobile phone, guys. That's the beauty of this application. Now you can see here, there's a two known devices. One is say shoe iPhone, another one is say shoe Windows PC. So in case if you want to set up the wireless LAN or if you want to set up some firewall features, or in case if you want to do a route policy or if you want to configure the app QoS or in case if you want to do a port redirection, you can able to do it as well. So just click on the wireless LAN. 
then you can see here it's showing that the existing one or in case if you want to do some changes you can able to do it from here just click on the plus sign and if you want to configure the new SSID you can able to do it as well and if you want to modify the existing one you can do it as well I don't want to do at the moment so right now if you see here there is a data guest right now it's disabled in case if you want to enable that you can enable it and if you want to define the password you can define it as well and right now for you to understand I am trying to configure one nice policy guys which is port redirection there's really thanks to you guys because I'm so exciting to show it to you and click on the port redirection and profile name I can say hello or DP okay guys just I'm trying to test this one and I'm saying that which what is the protocol the protocol I'm going to select TCP and it's redirecting mode it's a single device and public interface what's your public interface the public interface is van one and public port when the traffic coming from outside it has to come like a double eight double eight okay for testing purpose this one then after that the custom device let's say they want to access my Windows PC and what's the port number 3389 which is my remote desktop port then after that simply click OK guys that's it see here the policy is added successfully so what is this other other is nothing but in case if you want to log out from here and you can log it out and in case if you want to change the password you can change it in case if you want to allow the remote access if you want to do certain management tasks you can able to do it from here okay in case if you want to check is there any updates are available you can check it and right now which is using the latest firmware guys that's the beauty of that already updated that's why it's saying the current firmware version and what is the latest firmware version and in case if you want to take the backup you can take the backup in case if you want to restore you can restore it as well and in case if you want to reboot the router you can reboot it as well so these are the overview of the complete this router application guys so this is what you can able to do it so I'm really thankful to the trader guys I'm really enjoying to configure this application yeah thank you for watching and my phone for more videos please subscribe our YouTube channel so I'm just uh, disconnecting now just I'm going to stop my mirroring yeah thank you for watching this video for more videos please subscribe our YouTube channel for sales please send us an email sales at datawise.com thank you for watching this video